so today we're going to be learning the trombone. Um, the trombone is kind of the middleman of the brass section. It balances the high brass with the low brass, and it's it's very nice. It's similar to the viola in an orchestra. It balances. Um, so for today we have our trombones. Um, we have our complete guide to brass for, for some examples and pictures. And then we also have the Essential Elements 2000 book um, and a metronome on my phone. But, so we're going to start with posture. And so with posture, um, for the trombone, you want to sit nice and tall. Um, your feet should be flat on the floor. Um, legs shoulder width apart, arms in a nice, comfortable position, maybe even just on your legs apart. Um, so there's like a string attached to the top of your head, and it's pulling up, kind of like a puppet, and it's pulling your spine nice and tall, straight, and um, sitting up nice and tall will help with your air production to um, make sure that you get enough air when you're doing the trombone because trombones can cough. So next, we're going to start with breathing exercises. So let's take a nice big breath. And so you're going to imagine uh, breathing to the bottom of your chair. Uh, it's going to expand into your stomach. And that's a good thing. Um, it just means that you're filling your lungs with air, and you want to do that with the trombone. It does take a lot of air. Um, so why don't we try that right now? Me and you will do it together. We're ready? Okay, that's good. Um, so when you're doing that, you should think of the syllable O. So it'll help you keep your throat open. So rather than um, it closes up your throat a little bit more and you can't get as much air out. So when you're playing, it'll actually force the air out, which isn't good. It'll hurt and change the pitches and all sorts of things that you don't want. Um, so and you're also going to try and use the same amount of air speed. When you run out, just get more. Um, don't force it. Okay? So let's do that and um, we'll do it for four counts. So, ready? One, two, three. Good, very good. Okay, so um, we'll start with armature now. So on the armature, we're going to want. We have a couple steps first. Um, so first, we're going to say mm. So mm. Mm. That brings the lips together. Um, it engages the corners of your mouth with your teeth doesn't pull them back. Don't pull them back. Don't smile when you're playing. Um, it might look nice, but it won't sound nice. It'll make a nice tight sound on your trombone, which is something we don't want to do. It should be round. So say mm. The corners of your mouth should be touching or intersecting, if they are. Um, they also should be firm, not squishy, but also not uncomfortably tense. So the best way I can describe that is it, it kind of feel like the palm of your hand where your thumb is. It kind of feels like that. Do you think it's about the same? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, your teeth should not be touching. So it should kind of feel like you're just sitting on the couch watching TV. You're not clenching your teeth. Um, your chin should be flat and pointed, but not too flat. For that, I have a picture from the book, from the complete guide to brass. Um, so this is page 152, figure 10.11. Um, as you can kind of tell, his chin is 
slightly pointed and a little bit more flat than if you were just sitting there. But it's also not very firm. It's not hard as a rock. Um, so you can kind of tell the difference with figure 10.9 and the trumpet. Um, their chin is for sure more flat than 10.11, um, which is slightly more rough, but also just a little bit more pointed than usual. Okay, so imagine that there's a laser in the on the bottom of your chin and you're pointing it at the ground. So bam, he's not touching, corner's firm, pointing. Mm -hmm. Very good. So can you do that and look at me? Okay, very good. And you're not feeling uncomfortable anywhere. Good. Um, do that one more time, please. Very good. So we're going to begin buzzing without the mouth. So buzzing um, is what generates vibrations. So it's air coming through your lips and your lips are vibrating and touching all sorts of things and you're doing it with an armature. So um, when you touch a mouthpiece to your face, it'll make a noise. And that's because the buzzing is generating the noise, the vibrations. Um, and then the same with once you add the instrument, it'll make another noise. Yeah. Um, so when you're doing this, we'll start with the armature, and then um, it should feel as though you're blowing out a candle. And when you're doing that, you're going to bring your lips closer together and they'll start to vibrate off of each other and make kind of a, a sound like a motor would when it's turned on. Um, yes, so make sure to keep your teeth not touching when you're doing this. Just bring your lips close together. So ready? Let's try it together. Mm -hmm. Come really firm and you don't have any tension. Very good. Okay, make sure that's your tension. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your lips are slightly parted and you're gonna bring them together when you're blowing through. So, ready? Yeah, yeah, maybe use a little bit more air. Remember that we're breathing through the all the way to the bottom of the chair. Ready? Yeah, one more time, please. Yes, very good. Um, so, we are gonna learn about air management now and uh, direction. So um, when we're blowing, we're blowing straight ahead. Um, and that's something that we've been learning to do. But also, we need to learn how to blow upwards and downwards. So when you're doing this, um, to blow up and get a higher pitch because when you're blowing up, it'll make the higher pitches. Um, you'll move your jaw out just a little bit and your bottom lip will come just a little bit in front of your top lip, but not too much. Your teeth really shouldn't change too much either. And then you're going, you're, you're blowing down and you're gonna get a lower pitch. Um, your upper lip should come a little bit in front of your bottom lip. And you'll feel the air on your lap. Okay, so we're gonna do that without the buzzing, but with the armature. And then we'll add buzzing later. Okay, so ready? Put your hand in front of your face, please. Yep, so now go up. 
and out. Now bring your jaw in to go down. Very good. Now do it by yourself one more time. Now go down, jaw in. Mm -hmm. Now jaw out, go up. Very good. Okay. So we're going to try that with buzzing now. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're got our hand in front of our face and we're going straight on. Come on, Noah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to go up. Do the pitch change. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go down. And the pitch changes again, it goes lower. And I can feel the air on my lap. So let's try that together a couple times. Okay. So air straight on. Mm -hmm. Now go up. Yes, now go down. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, let's do that one more time together. Straight ahead. Now go down. Now go up, please. Very nice. Please do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Now go up. Now go down. I think maybe your body's lifting a little bit too far back there. Yes, that's much better. Good job. Okay, so let's go over on the show one more time before we do anything else. So why don't you explain? what we're doing first. The corners of your mouth. Corners, yes. Of yeah. your teeth. Okay. And you changed it off of your tongue. Very good, very good. Okay, so we're gonna add the mouthpiece, which is what the player puts on their mouth. Um, and it attaches the vibrations from the player's lips to the instrument. So when we buzz on a mouthpiece, we keep the same on the shirt as when we have without the mouthpiece. Um, Nothing really changes. You shouldn't be pressing it onto your face too much. It's just lightly put there. And um, we buzz through it, which creates the vibrations. Um, yes. And it should be a little bit more on the upper lip or on the lower lip than on the center of your mouth. Very good. I also have this picture, same picture as before. See how it's a little bit more on top and more on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this first. So, we're going to go straight on. And what we're going to do is try and aim our air. I'm going to aim at the corner of the wall in front of me. I'm going to push my air and imagine it hitting that wall. Um, I want you to do the same, but with obviously the opposite corner. <laughs> it's based on opposite corners. Um, but, so I'm going to show you how to do this first. So I'm keeping my arm with me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Teeth are not touching. We have to have a very steady stream of air to do this so that it doesn't touch the wall. Um, if you're forcing the air, obviously it's not going to be steady. So if you run out of air, it's going to fall. Okay, so 
So let me see your on the shirt. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to practice buzzing without it for one more second. Go buzz. Yep. Now we're gonna put the mouse piece on your face. Let's see. Thank you. Yep, very good. Okay. And it's perfectly placed. Okay, so let's do that together. Direct your air at the corner of the room and just make sure to get a lot of air. Breathe to the bottom of your seat and sit up nice and tall. Okay, are you ready? Very good. Let's do that one more time together. Please do it by yourself. Okay, one more time, please. Very, very good. All right. That was great. Um, so you just make sure that you're thinking of the O syllable when you're doing it so that you're not getting a little bit more of a trite sound. So go, O. O. Yeah. So see how your tongue is positioned in your mouth? You're going to want to keep that when you're breathing so that it's not tight. So whenever you're buzzing, it should sound more rather than so why don't you try that say O oh first and then make your on the shirt mm -hmm. well, let's try it with the mouth piece very good very good so I think you might be ready now to um move on to the instrument as the instrument permits. Okay, so we're going to set these down very gently. I'm just going to mouth piece and make sure it's good. Um, and now we're going to learn how to put the instrument together and learn the parts of it. So we need to do this on the floor every time. So please set your trombone in its place on the floor. It's going to need to go the opposite direction. Nice. So, because the latches are right there. So, let me mine first. This is a trombone. So, we have the main part of the instrument with the bell. And then we also have what's called the slide. Okay, so please take those parts out of your, yeah. So, there's that. And then there's a, um, you're going to need to twist that to get it out. That case is a little harder to get that to place. But. Okay, so please sit or just back on the floor. Back on the floor, please. No. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to do that and make sure you don't drop it when you're on the floor. Okay, so the slide is what helps change the um, the instrument's pitches. Other um, brass instruments have keys, valves, buttons, whatever you might call it, um, and you use that with your fingers. This, we use our whole arm and our fingers, obviously, but um, you slide it out. It's kind of like a slide whistle. It's a lot of fun. So we take the longer part of the slide that has the little um, rings on it and we stick it into this little hole. And so if you're looking at it from this angle, let's see, spin it. Yeah, all the way. Yeah. So this angle, 
we're gonna move the slide right about there. And then we take a little screw and we just screw it up. Sometimes it's easier if you kind of get in the lap. Make sure it's nice and tight so that your slide doesn't move around too much. Yep. Okay. Um, now we can sit and we take it and we put it in our lap for right now. Yeah. And we take our mouthpiece. Watch how I do this. So we stick it into the hole and we twist it and just a little bit. Very good. That's that's enough. <laughs> um, uh, make sure that this lock is locked so that your slide doesn't fall off. Um, yeah, it can fall off. Let's not make it fall off. Okay, so we're gonna practice buzzing. Just watch me for just a second. Um, actually, we're gonna start with position on something. So when we're doing this, it's on our left shoulder and our right arm main, it directs the slide. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on our shoulder, left shoulder here. Okay, we're gonna move that just a little bit more. Hold it tight for me, please. A little bit more angled. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Okay, so when we hold the trombone with our left hand, we make a gun. Yeah, so we take our index finger and put it across this pipe, the first one on the slide, and we take our thumb and put it across this pipe back here and it holds like that. Can you see? Yeah, make sure that it's a little bit more straight. I know, it's kind of a hard stick. But I mean, you can just use the squiggly thumb too. So with the next part of our hand, with the last remaining fingers, we take them and we just put them right there on the inside of the slide. So, yeah, make sure your hand's just a little bit more straight. You don't have to use the whole of your thumb or anything. But, yeah, okay. So it's on our left shoulder. And then with the right hand, we make our alien peace sign. You know, we come in peace. Yeah. And our thumbs just off here over to the side. We take the first two with the index and the middle finger, and we put them on the side where the rest of our fingers are of the slide. And we take the bottom two and we put them on the bottom. It's okay if it's pinky, you just can't really reach a little bit. It's kind of hard. Yeah. And then our thumb needs to go on the inside of this pipe on the slide. It'll help to push it out. Right there. Good job. Okay. So I'm going to make a noise. Observe how I do this. I'm making my own wishes. I'm going to buzz just like how I would do without a mouthpiece, with a mouthpiece, and with an instrument. It's all the same. Um, I'm going to use a lot of air because a big instrument and it's got to have a lot of air. Okay, I'm going to imagine breathing to that corner. Okay, ready? <laughs> Buzz without it first. Very good. Okay, so we're going to take it and lightly put it on our face. Make sure that it's nice and straight. 
Okay. And you're gonna row all the way to the middle wall. Ready? <laughs> And it should feel like you're breathing through a straw. So the air should be coming out of the middle parts of your lips um, rather than all over. So make sure to direct your air straight to the middle. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you because you do have that teardrop and it's splitting your lips a little bit more. So I think you can do it. Just work real hard on um, bringing the corners of your lips together, even in the middle. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let's try it just with the mouth piece now. So hold it, that was the, just make it rest on your lips. So what you're doing is you're not breathing first, um, make the armature, so you're gonna go. Um, you are just using whatever air you have. You're not breathing before you blow. Um, let's do that first. So make your armature, put it on your face, breathe in. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's do that together. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to keep your tongue just pretty low, um, flat. Okay. So let's do that. There you go. That's much better. So do that one more time, please. Make sure to keep your tongue low and flat. Mm -hmm. Don't force it. Just breathe out like you would normally do that. Just there you go. Much better. Much better. One more time, please. Okay. Now let's put it back on the instrument, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Just breathe out like you would normally breathe out. Do not force your air. So alien peace sign, yep, your immune sign should be right there, perfect, great form, okay, so I'm not sure, and then just breathe out like you would normally. You're not keeping your air straight to the middle, that's why it's kind of stuck right there. So if you're running out of air, stop. Whenever you start feeling like you're running out of air and you're starting to feel like you're forcing it, just stop. It'll be okay. So 
direct your air all the way over there. But imagine that you're blowing out a birthday candle. Don't go. Just go. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> spin it around where the bell hits this part so that it lays more flat. Yeah. They're a little big and a little awkward, but it's okay. Okay, so we're going to take our mouth piece and we're going to direct our air up. We're going to direct our air down. Okay, just with the mouth piece. It's the same thing. You've got this. We're gonna buzz, so make the arm sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now just go straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to direct your air up. So <laughs> no, you're gonna want the air to go straight up. And you're going to bring your jaw out and then up to the bottom. This is going to come in from a good spot. You're up in it. Sorry. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. That one was good. Um, why don't we try that again? Um, your tongue should also be raised in the back. Uh, it'll help your air start to go faster over it and it'll help create the higher pitch. Ready? Mm -hmm. Don't force your air. Breathe straight out. Is your tongue raised? Yes. Okay. One more time, please. Okay, go straight ahead. So, when your tongue is raised, you should still be thinking of the O noise rather than the So, it's kind of a lot to think about, but just think of it. It'll help. Um, so. Yes! Now, raise your tongue a little bit and bring your lip out. And your aperture, which is the inside of your lips, should also close just a little bit. It's the hole. So your hole should be a little bit smaller than it was on straight. So ready? Yes, very good. Let's do that one more time. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to try going down. So the hole, the aperture, should be a little bit bigger. Your lips can be a little bit more floppy this time. And um, your tongue should be really low and flat. So there's some bones on the inside of your jaw. Um, you should feel them on the either side of your tongue when you're doing it. Ready? <laughs> Don't force your air either. I notice that you're forcing it a lot. Straight out. It's really easy. Ready? Go ahead. <laughs> I think you're still thinking of the so yeah, just like a birthday candle. Okay. Almost. 
Almost, almost. Oh. Almost. I heard it go down a little bit that time. So let's make our on the shore first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it should definitely be a lot thicker of a vibration. Um, this might help. So go. Yes. Um, one more time. Okay. So watch as I do it. So. See how it just goes on. Um, it'll help make the lower noise because your lips are vibrating a whole lot more. So let's try that. Ready? Okay. I'll move the mouthpiece. Just do the vibration. Ready? Make sure to keep your corners taut. Okay? So, on the shirt. Direct your air down. So, go towards the middle. Okay. So, It doesn't change. It's just making sure that your corners are tight and engaged with your teeth. Okay? So. Yeah. It sounds weird, but let's do it one more time. Perfect. All right. Now do it yourself. No, keep the vibration going and then move your mouthpiece, okay? Now move. Yeah. Yeah, one more time, please. Very good. <laughs> one more time, please. <laughs> Just make sure to keep it steady, okay? Add the the instrument again. So it's easier if you just put your mouthpiece in um, while it's on the ground, and then twist it. Yep, perfect. Now hold on to it nice and tight so we don't drop it back down. Keep nice and flat on the ground. Up, nice and tall. So, uh oh, I think your screen might. Done. That's perfect. Well, actually, let's move this out just a little bit. You can use the, that part of your thumb. Okay. Very good. Ooh, you were pretty nice. Okay. So do the same. Just go straight on. <laughs> sounding kind of a uh, more airy than round it's like make sure to keep your tongue flat and open even if you're just thinking of it okay ready <laughs> Uh, uh, quality. Okay. 
Um, do that for me one more time. I'm just going to walk. Uh, I think you're still talking. So, deep breath. Uh, um, well, so you have the air, and you have the capabilities of getting the air. We just need to use the air, okay? So. So what you're doing is you're directing your air up a little bit more. See how the pitch changed when you went up? Um, you're going to want it just to keep it straight, so just go straight ahead. Straight ahead. Very good. Now add the instrument. Um, let's try that again, but when you hear the note that we, the higher note, try to change as quickly as possible by lowering your tone um, and going to the lower note that we want, okay? So try it. Start with whatever you note you start with. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Oh. 
articulation. So um, with that, we want, it's a lot to think about keeping your tongue low and flat and um, making sure that you're going, oh, when you're breathing. But also when we're doing articulation, we want to think about um, how we're going to articulate it. So on the trombone, you it if you were talking, it would say do 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 do. But since you're not speaking, you're keeping your tongue low, you're making sure that you're thinking oh, and you're going you're moving your tongue in the same way that you would say do do do. So it should sound like uh 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 uh. Got it? Yeah. Um. So why don't we try that together? Um, can you say do, do? See how that feels? Yeah. Keep your tongue low, just like you would when you're talk, like playing. Um, and say it now. So do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Let's try it with the mouthpiece. We're going to buzz it. Actually, no. Sorry, not with the mouthpiece. Um, make your armature. Mm -hmm. We're going to buzz and say do, 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 but we're not going to say it. We're just going to move our tongue in the same way. So it'll articulate in that way. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to put the mouthpiece on. Ready? Very good. Now we're going to put it back on the instrument. Put it in, twist. Now just, we'll do four. Uh huh. Very good hand placement. Okay, so ready? Now by yourself. Make sure to keep your tongue low since you're making your tongue come up, and so it's going to the higher pitch and then the lower pitch. And it's good. It's good. It's very good. But we want to keep it at the same pitch for right now. Okay. So try it again. Very good. One more time, please. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're ready to start number two now. And then we can end up here. Okay, ready? So I'm going to put the metronome at 60. I'll play it for you first, and then we'll do it together. Okay, one, two, three. Very good. 
head. Can you maybe do that by yourself? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Very good. Um, just for your own practice time, um, make sure to keep your tongue low because it's wanting to keep changing to the higher note, but it's kind of in the middle. Just make sure keep it low and flat, even when you're just practice it when you're just sitting, doing your homework, um, watching TV, any of that. But yeah, I think that's going great. So I want you for homework, practice your armature, practice buzzing without the mouthpiece, grab your mouthpiece, practice buzzing it maybe three times and then um, three successful times and um, then add the instrument and perfect number two. And then next time we'll do number three and four. I think that's great. Do you have any questions? No. Great. I think that went well. Thank you. Oh. One more thing. We have to put our instruments away. So we're going to take our instrument, hold it nice and tall, set it down. We're going to sit down, actually. Sorry, not set it down. Sit down. Um, we're going to untighten this the little screw that we put the slide on with. It, it helps if you just put it on your lap. Yeah. Untighten it. Yeah. Thank you. Pull up a little screw. Yeah. So then we take the slide out. Just pull it out nice and tight. This one you might have to pull a little bit harder. Yeah. All right. So hold on to that. We take our mouthpiece out. So why don't you do that? Okay. So your mouthpiece goes in that little square box thing up there. Okay. Here's your slide. Um, it goes up there in the part with the twist. It goes the opposite way. I'm gonna make sure that it, yeah, that's a weird case, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Just slide it all the way up. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna twist that so that the slide doesn't fall out whenever you open the case or close the case. Good. Now flip the horn. Yep. So that it fits where the bell um, part of the case is. Very good. That all looks good. Now we just close the case and buckle it up. And I think you're good to go. Any questions? Very good.